What is up, YouTube? Big Dippers 98 back here with another video for you guys today. And today we're doing something a little special. Fine cut natural stokers. Um, so I already have a lip in. I just put it in to side do video. So we're going to review this, talk a little bit of, about a little bit of things, have a little updates, and um, go with, from there. So let's do smell first. And actually, I have a can packed of it already. I use my Copenhagen fiberglass tins. Um, so smell. It is not a very likable smell. Um, it kind of smells like Copenhagen straight with half a can of Copenhagen. Um, God, what is that called? Southern blend. And like a tub of grizzly or longhorn all put together um flavor it's okay um it's not very my most likable i would rather prefer to do longhorn all the time if i had to choose from that or uh, longhorn now floater wise um floaters are a big thing for me they make me gag a lot and they actually move more than everybody else probably has um, I know a lot of people like to dip Grizzly in Copenhagen uh, because there's less floaters and I honestly think they have a lot um, my chew dip moves around a lot and so does my chew and I get a lot of mulchy Copenhagens so I have to watch out but this is really bad with floaters um, it's actually moving under my tongue. It's coated the whole bottom of my tongue. It's all around my gum. And every time I go to spit, I can feel it all move forward. And then it goes back. Um, it, it's it's okay. It's not that good, honestly. It's a pretty bad dip. And that's sad because Stokers, I'm really dear to. Um, they're a pretty good company. And I do like their tobacco but this is just not enjoyable at all um, this is actually first pinch of it I just got it yesterday I opened it up smelled it didn't touch it so also I don't know if it's just me maybe my teeth are getting sensitive but with this in it literally makes my teeth hurt um, so I'm actually gonna take it out um, Always rinse. Like usual, the Contigo um, spitter, and I'm actually getting mud jug this Christmas. So, um, obviously, it's not a cherishable dip. Um, it, somebody could pay me 50 bucks, and I would never do this again. Actually, I'm trying to sell this. Um, yeah, it just leaves a really bad taste in your mouth. And, actually, I'm going to put some Copenhagen Black in. <laughs> I have two more cans of this and three more cans of Winterine from the two logs. Um, so... I'm doing pretty good on dip. Oh. Actually, let's go ahead and do a review on this too. Two and one. Holy shit, that's never happened. Alright. So, okay. First off, like I was talking about the stokers. It's very hard to pinch. Um... But I, I get it pretty good because I've been pinching or dipping fine cuts for a while. But switching over to Copenhagen Black, I have the same problem I have with most Grizzlies and Longhorns. It is hard to pinch, and I have to pack hard. I only do two of them now, so it's not that loud. But as you can see, it's really misshaped. So, hope you're dipping something with me.
now we're just gonna let that sit there and soak. Um, okay, for Copenhagen Black, my whole thing on Copenhagen Black has honestly changed. Um, when I first had this, I'm not gonna lie, I threw up everywhere. Um, it was probably till two years ago. No, I had it three years ago. I tried it three years ago on S September 24th, and then two years after that, I tried it again during, I think, mid-October. Um, my friend had a log, I was over at his house, and he had nothing else but that, and I just finished my can of wintergreen, and um, so I decided to try it again, and it actually did taste pretty better, or pretty good, uh, from last previous experience, and ever since then I have been dipping it a lot more. Actually, um, right now I'm doing this thing where I'll take a can of wintergreen, do the wintergreen, and do a can of black, and then keep on doing that, because I notice every time I put wintergreen in, it's I got the good burn, the consistency I like, the flavor I like, the spit I like, but then my lips start getting chawed really bad, so I go to black and it actually heals pretty good. So if you need like a healing dip, just go to black or something mild. Now smell, and I've said this every time I've talked to somebody with black, it smells, honestly, it really smells, I used to think that it smelled like paint thinners, but it came to realization earlier today, uh, when I went to put a dip into that, my friend had, his mom was drinking Jack, and they smell the same. Uh, I smelled hers and then I smelled my dip and she even said it smells the same. It actually does. A lot of people say it reminds them of bourbon or I've had a couple of people say Hennessy, which I don't smell Hennessy in there. I smell more Jack Daniels now. And I mean, it's not that bad. I think the good thing is, is that it doesn't taste like Jack Daniels. Now, it has that alcoholic, rubbing alcoholic smell but it's not too potent. Now if you're at home and your parents don't let you dip and you go to sneak a little pinch at night and you know you either you have a bedroom to yourself or you're with a sibling that sleeps in the same room such as I this is not a very good dip to put in in the middle of the night. Now wintergreen it has a strong scent to it yes but it is not so bad where your mom or dad will smell it from the other room now with black though, once it starts to soak and you know you start generating spit and all that and you start spitting, it's actually pretty potent. Um, I've had people stand next to me like I'd be at, you know, walking out of school or something, put a pinch in and my friend will come up next to me and he's like, I can smell that from all the way over there when the wind hits you. Um, so it has a car it has a smell that really carries itself. And that's that's the one bad thing about Copenhagen Black is that it's the odor is so tremendously um, elongated with certain places. Now, if I'm sitting at home alone and like Frank comes over or something, I have a really really small one, just like a fixed pinch, um, then they really don't smell it. But I'm normally drinking something as well, so that overcoats the smell. I know that like at my friend's house, his mom doesn't let me dip there a lot because she doesn't like it. So. Every time I go, I try to put black in, but she smells it and finds out. But for the smell, like I said, it smells like Jack Daniels. Now the taste does not taste like Hennessy Jack Daniels or anything like that. It's really hard to tell the taste. Um, I really don't know what to describe it to. Um, I would honestly say if you took Copenhagen straight and a little bit of Copenhagen um, Southern blend and put that together and take the saltiness, the saltiness out of Southern blend as much as the salt crystals it has in it, uh, that would kind of be like what it is and then just let it sit out in the sun really if I had to do anything, um, say anything about it. Now a lot of people ask me that dip and some people that don't dip um, they smell it and they're like oh you know that smells really bad and stuff they say how do you do that and you know what's it taste like and honestly I just tell them it 
tastes like dip. Um, there's not really a generalization that you can actually give it uh, to 100% uh, perfection, but I really enjoy it. Um, actually, if I had to choose my all-year dip, it would probably be Copenhagen Black because it never lets me down. Um, when I don't have nicotine and stuff, if somebody has uh, Copenhagen Black, I'll take it any day. Um, or even if I want to buy a log, I'll go get that as well. Now, for the updates, um, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't grade out the scale of my likeness for Stokers or Copenhagen Black. Copenhagen Black is a 10 out of 10, such as uh, Wintergreen as well, and many other Copenhagens and schools and Grizzlies. Um, now, Stokers Fine Cut Natural is honestly half of one. Um, it is not very big on my chart. If I had to dip it, I will dip it. Um, but it's half out of ten. It is not very good. Um, I really do not enjoy it that much. And I would not spend my own money on it. Now, if somebody had that and I was staying over and that's all they had, then I would uh, dip it. But that's the only time. Now, for the updates, though. Um, so a lot has changed in the process of the videos. I'm now trying to do videos as much as I can because sometimes I don't have enough to go by or um, enough scripts to read out and stuff like that. And I make my own script and stuff to, you know, do the shows and everything. Now, the one reason I don't do a lot of videos and a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me probably wonder why. I only come out once in a while with videos. It's because I like to do generalization of different dips, not just one certain dip. I like to make videos on the dip of my first times, my second times, and stuff like that. Um, so I really try to get different things to do so it's not the same old, same old throw lip into this and talk. Um, now I do talk in some videos. I've, I think I have several up that I talk in and there's going to be more of those as well uh, just for certain things and I know when I get to California it's really going to change because I don't know what's going on up there I don't know how everything's going to work out and I might actually lose the channel for a while and then come back up in the uh, near future um, also I'm trying to find a camcorder and I am doing a video tomorrow if I have time on my cell phone and we're going to be out in the woods and stuff talking, dipping, coping, and wintering, and things like that, and just talking about stuff. But I hope you guys like the video. Please like and su su subscribe. Big Dippers 98 out.